everyone and welcome back to one more video of All Light Food and today I am going to make a very simple and delicious recipe the tofu and vegetable curry cooked in coconut milk. Tofu are very good source of plant based proteins, calcium and iron. They are high in essential micronutrients and contains all the 9 essential amino acids. Even if the tofu looks like the paneer or the cottage cheese, it is made out of the soya milk and the taste is little bland. So in this recipe, I am going to add a lot of spices, a little bit of coconut milk and make it rich, tasty and suitable for my taste buds. I am sure you are going to love this Thai inspired tofu curry. So let's quickly check how to make this and we will talk more about the goodness of recipe after the video. So keep watching. To make the tofu and veg curry, first I am going to cut 150 grams of tofu into medium sized pieces. I am using the extra firm tofu, but for curries, extra firm and firm both can be used. Now using a kitchen towel or cloth, soak out the extra liquid from the tofu. Next in a wok, I am going to warm half a cup of oil to shallow fry the tofu pieces. Because of the bland taste, I love to fry them a little, but you can make them without frying or baked, whatever you love. On medium low heat, fry for 3 to 4 minutes and take them out and keep aside. To make a simple spice paste, I have taken 3 to 4 cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of red chili flakes or one whole dry red chili and a tomato. Now grind all the ingredients to fine paste. Now in a pan, I will take around 1.5 tablespoon of cooking oil. To this, add 1 potato cut into thick slices. Keep the temperature of the stove on low. Fry for a few seconds. Next, add half a cup of carrots sliced and one cup of green beans and red bell peppers to the pan. Now fry all the vegetables for a minute or two. Make sure the veggies are not overcooked. That looks so colorful. Now add salt to taste. Give it a nice mix. And take out the vegetables on a plate and keep aside. Next in the same pan, take one more tablespoon of cooking oil and add the red spice paste to this. Cook till the raw smell of the garlic is gone. Let me tell you that this is not the typical Thai red curry paste. Once done, add 2 tablespoons of coconut cream. The coconut cream is very thick and rich, but you can also add 1 cup of coconut milk instead. To make it even more rich, you can also add a tablespoon of peanut paste or a tablespoon of heavy cream, but it is best to keep it simple. Add water to deglaze the pan as well as prevent the coconut milk from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Now I'm going to add all the vegetables to the gravy. Mix all the ingredients together nicely. Next, add the shallow fried tofu to the pan and mix with the vegetables. Next, add half a teaspoon of salt or salt to taste. Then, one cup of water. Add one cup of water to make the gravy or you can also add desired amount of water for your gravy. Now let's wait till it starts boiling. Cover and let it to simmer with the coconut milk and let all the flavors to absorb. Turn off the stove and serve hot. And now it's time to taste. You can also make this recipe with peanut sauce, but the coconut milk is the key ingredient of this recipe. Tofu is a very nutritious and healthy food product. It is not only high in protein, calcium and all the 9 essential amino acids, but also rich in essential micronutrients like manganese, magnesium, copper, zinc and phosphorus. And adding a lot of vegetables to your curry is going to make it even more nutritious, tasty and colorful. So thank you so much for watching the video, I'm sure you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you get notified every time there is an update. For health related article, you can visit my blog at www.being-foodie.com And you can also find all the updates of All Light Food on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Make sure to join us there. I shall see you in one more video. Till then, goodbye, take care and stay healthy.